just got back to my hotel room in Port Au Prince, Haiti, and I want to make this video as a behind the scenes as to the main channel video that I've been shooting the last two days because this place is insane. Literally insane like no other place on this planet, and I mean it. The Haitian government requesting American troops to help keep the peace. American nurse and her child reportedly kidnapped. They're getting more powerful every day. Seeing that many gang group in this country, which make it unsafe. This whole area is controlling by gang. Damn. Behind us, we have the gang members that are walking with us everywhere we go. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Are you sure we're gonna be okay? Yeah. yeah. Put the camera down. So first off, I want to give all credit to my local friend and guide named Sean. How are we doing, man? Nice to meet you. He's an amazing dude. I got connected with him through another YouTuber named Nick who runs Indigo Traveler. He's a great guy. He introduced me to him and we've been traveling here together. This guy really knows every single street in this city. He's from here, born and raised. He speaks perfect English and he's able to navigate these streets like none other. But in this video, in this mission was to come and go to Cite du Soleil which is the biggest slum slash ghetto area in Port-au-Prince. It is run 100% by gang. The main channel video I'm gonna link below. I hope you guys will watch it because it's a really, really fascinating story. But right now I'm gonna share with you what went through my head uh, behind the scenes. We are in Cite du Soleil area. This whole area here as we're passing is controlling by gang. Oh, as you can see, it's empty. Yeah. It's empty, man. Look What's... at that down there. Look at the wood block. Why is it so empty? Because it's all controlled by gangs there, you know? That's a big car. Yeah. We go down this no man's land street. When I say no man's land, there's like nobody there because it's the only road into Cite du Soleil, this ghetto slum area. Mm -hmm. And finally, I can see the checkpoint like ahead and I just see a bunch of dudes get out in the street with their huge like massive guns. They look like AK-47s, machine guns, automatic. I don't know, I'm not a gun person, so I don't really know the kinds of guns they were. And then they're all screaming in the street, da, 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 da. and they're like, who, who are you? What are you doing here? They're all speaking the Creole, French Creole. And then Sean's basically said, I know the leader and I talked to him and he invited me and they're like, okay, fine, fine, you pay money. Because I was like, I looked at Sean, I was like, bro, should we turn around? Like, what's going on? He's like, no, no, just trust me, stay calm. Stay calm? You know these people? Ah! <laughs> That's the hot Are you sure we're gonna be okay, man? Yeah, yeah, we good, we good, don't worry. I'm just gonna stay calm, but like, those guns are you, bro. <laughs> Why is he on the outside of the car? So that they can see us. No one except the car. Are these normal people or gang members? These people. Yeah, a lot of them. I don't even know what I captured. I haven't looked through the footage yet at all. So I hope I got some of these tense moments on camera. Whatever happened, it was the scariest moment of my life. Put it that way. All right. Yep. Where you go? So we got through the checkpoint. By the way, there's no president of Haiti. He was assassinated, so everything is run kind of by gangs. Assassination of its president inside his home. Haiti's first lady was wounded in the overnight attack, but survived. So basically the leader of this area, Cite du Soleil, gave us six soldiers to walk around with us. And one of like these like guns, like handguns in their pockets. This guy's working with a bag of bullets and a bullet proof vest. They guided us around and you know we had to pay them for you know, my safety and my security. And the whole time I was on edge, man. I mean, there's a lot of people living there, but there is nothing. No running water, no electricity, no food, no shops, no commerce, nothing. It's just people living in houses that are shanties. You're entering a house here. Oh, that's how we eat. So this is lalo, it's a vegetable, which um, is very well known in Haiti. And uh, they consume it a lot. Can I ask you another question? So, what's it like to live in this community? So we're not living a good life here because it's hard to eat. We don't have access to money. How come you don't want to leave and go somewhere else? So you don't want to leave, leave here because this is the only place you have to leave. That's the kitchen. No food at all, as I can see. There's a lot of holes in it. And also there is a major hole in here. I'm just thinking when it's raining and the condition that those people must be living, this might be struggling. Because, it, it rains here a lot, right? It rains a lot. It's really hot in here as well. Super hot. There's no ventilation from the wind. It's sad that this is the kitchen, but there's nothing in it. And these living conditions are really rough, man. Oh, yes. Do they have running water? No, they don't even have um, a well. Oh no, what happened? Look at that. Oh no. She's fluid. 
it's extremely sad. It's it's really it's one of the most depressing places I've ever been. I tried to find some like positivity and some light in there, and I didn't really find any. We met this one dude who was butchering up a pig, a couple of kids on the side of the street that are smiling and saying hi, but there was not, nothing like festive, nothing exciting, nothing happy. There was no one sharing a meal. I saw one street food vendor who was selling the hot dogs, and I couldn't even get a bottle of water the whole time we were there. I was so thirsty. It's super hot outside here, like sun on your face. I mean, we're in Haiti. It's really freaking hot in Haiti. Four hours in Cite Soleil, no water. Then we managed to get these bag water. Can I, uh, can I drink this? Yeah, you can. Sorry. It's pure, yeah? It's pure fight. So we got bags of water. I don't know if this will make me sick or not, but I, I'm so thirsty. And I drank it because I was so thirsty and I figured, well, if I get terrible diarrhea, at least it's not going to be here. It'll be like later. After we went to Cite du Soleil, we, we went around the streets of Port-au-Prince, we went to some viewpoints. Actually, we brought someone from the slum, uh, some dude, random dude, and we brought him to a nice dinner, which was really sweet. We went to a voodoo ceremony. Voodooism is a religion in West Africa, and it was brought here a couple hundred years ago. And this guy was doing this whole voodoo ceremony in his house, and it was really interesting, so that was cool. And then, um, you know, we went around, went to some markets. It's crazy. Markets are everywhere here on the streets, and it's extremely busy. Everybody's hustling out here. Yeah, don't get hit by the bus, bro. <laughs> no, no. Driving here is insane, bro. Crazy. Man. In the middle of the street market is just piles of trash. This is crazy, man. Look at that. Gridlock traffic. Dude, all around me right now is just chaos. Oh my god. That's a semi truck. And look at the ground. The traffic is crazy. The cars drive like this close next to you. Everyone's honking. We saw a fist fight in the street, people running after each other, police with freaking masks on, like like robbing a bank mask on and bulletproof vests and massive guns stopping us on every corner. We must've been stopped four or five times in the last 24 hours. What's it up? I'm Police check. Hola. My name is Drew. What's your name? Police stopping us again. American. American? Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you, thank okay, you. Thank bye you. bye, thank Good you. Job. Yes, thank you. Holy crap. And uh, yeah, I feel like I just aged about two years uh, here in Haiti, but I gotta say, you know, I love traveling because I'm curious. I'm curious about the different cultures in the world, different situations, political turmoil, whatever it is, beaches, nightlife, I wanna see it all. And what I saw in Haiti is really disturbing, but it is existing. And that's exactly why I came here to be a messenger, to share with you what is happening in Haiti. I really hope that the situation gets better here because the people are super kind. There are flashes of beauty here. You know, people on the street that will smile at you, wave as they go by. The women still have these West African bows on their heads, which is really sweet, like the way they dress. And they really retain their African roots, which is awesome to see. And yeah, I want to say on that same note, these videos in Haiti are based on my own personal travel experiences and nothing else. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Haiti. Um, I, I gotta say, this is the most dangerous place in the world. I hope the situation gets better and thank you for watching this video with me. And if you enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes content, let me know. I'm, I would love to do more of it on the main channel. Thank you guys, love you all. Watch the main channel video. Bye, peace. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels. And also I'm giving away a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.